described it. It was horrible that night. You know, for those of us that knew Karen, uh, there's a lot of people that had a lot of uh, feeling about the whole crash. Uh, and I say crash specifically because when somebody leaves, it's not an accident. It's a crash. And then uh, we were up against some horrible weather conditions. Uh, it's just bad. So, if anything, this office, uh, at least a starting point for some closure. Uh, I will say it's not a uh, celebration. I don't feel like celebrating. We should not be having this conversation right now in the reality of things. The person had stopped, could have gone from there. If it had never happened, we should not be here right now. That's this, how I feel about it. This case was very personal to, to you and the rest of the department. To the department, to me, I knew Karen from the town hall, also goes to the same church as me, but she did. She was very active in the church. Uh, town hall personnel were just dis destroyed by this loss, the loss of Karen. And over and above that, Sandy, her spouse, uh, had the opportunity to speak to her a number of times, and it's just, how do you make any sense out of something like this? Uh, so, to a certain extent, I'm happy for the family that at least we're on the track to having some closure for them. It sounds like the defendant's father was the key to finally cracking this seven yes, months later. that's correct. Can you speak to that at all? Well, from what was divulged at the... Uh, at the, at the arraignment, the father did report the information, uh, became aware of it, and the man had a conscience. And uh, we knew after a week or so of, of having no developments in the whole situation that we were going to need the, the public's help. Well, somebody needed to know, and I will take this opportunity to thank you all and everybody else in the media that retweeted what we were sending out, taking note of the signboards we put out, showing up for our press conferences and keeping it alive because this is not over there's still a long way to go there's still a lot of work that needs to be done so a proper presentation can be made in the, in the courts had the car been sold or, or was it ditched at a garage it wasn't ditched and to the best of my knowledge uh, it was not sold got rid of the car how did you guys get the car back uh, the way we they, Sarginitas found it was information was developed after the initial report on Friday from the uh, parent. Uh, subsequent interviews with other acquaintances, if you will. Uh, name came up. He followed up on the name. Uh, and that's how it came to play, where the man just did a lot of legwork, uh, followed up on a, an individual, and that's how they came up with the car. And we got that call yesterday, and I was very pleased.